Right, guys, uh, I received my laptop today. Uh, it's the MSI Raider GE67HX. Uh, it's got RTX 3080 Ti, uh, 16 gigs of VRAM, 32 gigs of RAM. It's an Intel i7 12800HX. It's got 16 cores and 24 threads. It's got 3 terabytes of SSD on this thing. Um, the graphics card... The RTX 3080 Ti with this one, it does come with a 330 watt adapter. The graphics card on this laptop can boost all the way up to 175 watts. The CPU can boost, I think, up to 65 watts. Right, so I was in this thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's. Um, I think it changed my graphics card. Where's that thing? What was I doing? When I before I close this, so I remember I had um, right. I had something running in the background. Oh, it says uh, friend request. It says select to capture. Press Windows key G to do something. Okay, that's EA stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I I want to start this one up. Right, so I'm actually using. I'm actually, oh my God, look how long this thing is. Why is this thing so long? Look at it, it's like a, it's like a loaf of bread, right? So I'm using Xbox, I'm, I'm using, well, I'm using DualSense, but I'm using Xbox, I don't know, something like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start up Steam. What's the library store on store? Let's see, manage downloads, blah, 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 blah. Go back to the store. <laughs> right, um, trying to see something. I was, I was somewhere, you understand? I was doing something and then this, this all happened. I mean, it had to restart the, the whole system. But I'm now trying to get to where I was before. Uh, this is weird. How come it doesn't show the NVIDIA GeForce thingy? Right, so I'm using 1280 by 720. I know it's it might sound crazy. Oh, check this out. Connected to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 36 3080 Ti laptop GPU. I also sound, the second one is also saying the graphics card and the first one. And this is 240 hertz. And the, the gaming monitor can only do 144 hertz, which is fine. Oh, this is nice. Righty, right. So let me see. So what can I... Right, I just need to create a restore point like I like doing. And um, I'm trying to figure out what I was doing before. Okay, MSI Center. Ah, yes, I was in here. So mm -hmm. I've changed the graphics card. And it's it asked me, well, it wanted me to restart the system, the laptop. You see, it now says uh, GPU switch discrete graphics mode. Man, I can't wait to game on this thing. <laughs> I cannot wait to game on this laptop, man. You know, I've 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 always wanted a gaming laptop. Like I mean, a proper gaming laptop, not not just any. I, I, I'm not trying to sound bad. I'm not saying anything bad about other gaming laptops. I've had Alienware's. I've had I've had so many different kind of laptops, all the way up to the Steam Deck. But I've never, ever had a gaming laptop. Never. I mean, a proper gaming laptop. I've not had that. Ooh, look at this. It's going crazy now. Absolutely crazy. Look at that. RPM, 2400 RPM. Wait, is um, MSI Afterburner working? What's MSI Afterburner? I just want to see what it says on this. You know, you just click on the letters and then, uh, let's see, MSI, M, M, M. Should be in here somewhere. Should have started with the system. What's the app player? What's that thing? I'm wondering what that thing does. Oh, check check this check this out. So that's MSI Afterburner. Uh, so I can you know what I can actually overclock this thing, can't I? This is you can I can actually overclock this thing. Cause check this out. It shows a CPU two hundred ten me uh, megahertz memory four hundred five volts. No, that's, is that CPU or GPU? 
uh, volts. I don't want to mess with that. But temperature 48. This is something else. I'm just going to put that down for a second. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know one thing? I want this to start this. I do need to start me. Oh, come on, man. What's up with it? Oh, it's on this side. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool. I don't want two desktops. The one will do just fine. I'm going to jump into uh, Call of Duty, but I, wa I really want to see what War Robots looks like. I mean, on a gaming laptop. I know it sounds dumb. I, I think other people will be like, why? why? What's the interest? The interest is I've never seen, I've never, I've never had a, a proper gaming laptop where I could t test, you know, where I could actually see what Ro War Robots would look like on the high highest graphic settings, you know? I've never had that opportunity, that's what I'm saying. Right, I wanna see what this uh, system is doing. I'm sorry for the brightness. So what, I usually use this on um, on the Steam Deck, but I use this, I just wanna see what it's doing. It's fluctuating, 3.6, it's not really up there in terms of power. Oh, you know one thing, I haven't selected extreme mode yet. Wait. I haven't selected that mode yet. You know that I, I'm just I'm busy talking, right? <laughs> I'm busy talking, and then I don't realize that I have not selected that mode yet. It's still running on balanced, right? So let's see, gaming mode. What's this? Up, lightning, hotkey. Okay. Touchpad disabled. System pr performance. I don't get it. So how do I add game? Gaming mode. How how do you change the color on the keyboard? So it's just weird. I mean, how do you get it brighter? How do you how do you do anything? Oh wait, is this going up? These are weird. Does this does this actually go up? Or does this go up? I don't I don't I don't understand this whole thing. I mean, I was watching on YouTube and they said you can change the lighting in the front, you can change the keys. And I'm like, I can't see where all this stuff is. Okay, gaming mode, MSI, uh, general settings. Collect useful features in one page. Okay. Da, da, da. All right. So, I mean, I've, I've already done that one. I did that one, gaming mode. Right, so that's that's not gonna help right now. Smart priority, optimize the user experience for creative applications. Blah 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 blah. Oh, it's got other apps in here. MSI companion game highlights, Mystic Light. I think the oh okay. I so it's saying I haven't installed those things. All right, okay. So it's it's got these features, but you need to install them. MSI companion Windows Key G enable the game bar feature. Who cares about that? That's that's Xbox stuff. Game highlights, capture in-game highlight video for games to share or edit. All right. Uh, Mystic lights, control lightning effects on your MSI RGB devices. So that would be the front part, isn't it? And then um, use AI engine to easily tag, uh, sort, search the images you want. Then it says Wi-Fi analysis. Wi-Fi uh, analysis can help you detect surrounding Wi-Fi signals. You can choose the best signal based on the analysis. Easily switch the display profiles by a single click, true color. System diagnostics, uh, check health status for important uh, uh, hardware parts. Then AI powered noise cancellation for solution for a better voice call experience. Right, so did these install? These ones are installed. Right, guys, uh, if you're wondering what am I doing, I'm, I just, I just want to try to change the, well, Right now, I want a game. I want to play a game. I want to play War Robots. But I, I, I am curious in, in wanting to find out if I can at least make this keyboard a bit brighter. Because I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've tried to make it brighter. And I, I don't know if, if I was successful or not. Or maybe I'm, I'm not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> it, it feels like I don't know what I'm doing. So what are all these things? Okay. So those are future sets. Futures, hardware monitoring. I still don't get this. So MS Companion, Mystic Light. So what happened with all these things? Wait, you see what I'm saying? 
how do you find these things? Where are these apps? Like, uh, is, is there some MSI thingy that I have to click on uh, and then suddenly I'll find that? Okay, so it's got true color. I think I've already been on that true color thing. Um, okay, so that's MSI Center. That's where I'm at. I'm sorry if it, if it looks like I, I don't know what I'm doing, but to be honest, maybe I don't. <laughs> I don't think I understand what I'm doing. What is this uh, doing? I thought I installed all these things. You see? It's like you install it and then you come back and then it says you have to keep installing. How many times do you have to install the same thing? I don't get this. I even clicked on install all and it you, you saw that time it installed everything only for me to come back to it and then it says install again. And I'm like, what, what's going on? Does this stuff just suddenly come off by itself? Or oh, what's going on? Okay, Mystic Light. I don't understand this called laptop, man. No, I mean, I like it. I do like it a lot, but I just, I wish it was simpler. I wish if if there was something that could just like, you know, I don't know. You know, I watched this online and I heard the lady talking about this and she was like, you know, it should be more intu intuitive, isn't it? Like, uh, it should be easier for people to use. Like right now, okay, I've got all this stuff, but where is it? Like, how do I jump into this stuff? Where is the actual, you know, the the gaming mode thing? I mean, it does have gaming mode on this, but I'm just saying, I don't understand the whole system. Right, so uh, let's see. So these ones are done. So then what do you do with all this stuff? You, you see what I mean? It's like... True color is there. You see, I've got MSI true color. It's there. Right? You, you understand what I mean? So what I'm saying now is, where do I find the apps uh, that are MSI apps? Or do I have to just keep going in here? It's got ClipChamp. I'm going to pin this uh, to Taspa. No, no, pin to start. And then uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just I'm just kind of basically going down, uh, hoping uh, that I will find. Ah, look at this! It's got Killer Intelligence Center. I don't even know what that is. Microsoft News. Uh, yeah, I'll probably click that to start. You never know what I might be wanting to look at. Movies and TV. Okay, that's already a uh, thing stuck. App Player. I'm gonna click that start. Pin that start, true color, pin that start. I don't know what any of these things are. I'm just gonna, well, not on 360 for games. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna click this to start. Let's see. Office, I don't even use Office, but I'm gonna click it to start. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Quick CPU. Yeah, I'm gonna click this to start. Real audio console. A uh, river turner uh, thingy and server, right? I mean, I, I probably wouldn't be using that right now, but at, at some point I probably will. Spexy, yes. I'll click this to start. Uh, Steam and no, I don't know what that one is. Still series, I still don't know what that stuff is. GPU Z, uh, Thunderbolt Control Center, nice one. You see? So that that is an advantage because Windows Backup, nice. Windows Security, yes. Windows Tools. When Ra, I think I already have that installed on the system. It wasn't installed, but I did install it. Click to start and your phone click to start. You see, th this is why I'm saying I, I, I don't I don't understand where I find these uh, things. OK, smart priority. OK, so it's got this open thing. I thought that it would be like everywhere. You get what I'm saying? It, it might have been easier. If there was some instruction thing like you know click this click the air click this this is what this does uh if you want to do this click click you know just like click click uh, with small information buzz on like okay you can change your keyboard you can make it brighter all right it says real time smart priority user priority smart priority okay Right, smart pride. I don't even know what any of these things will do. Look at this. It just keeps it keeps coming off. 
you know what I, i'm not even bothered and i'm not i'm not even gonna look at any of these things I, I you know you know what i think happens i think it's it prioritizes what you want to do in the game okay you know one thing i'm i'm i just want to change the power plan no that's that's what i want to do if i can just change the power plan and then i'm i'm all good i just want to play games i know what you're thinking why why can't you play the game now i can i can play the game but it's it's not just gonna do are they just gaming mode? Oh, come on, man. It's my I don't understand this thing. So what am I supposed to do? Right. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. How do I change the power plan in this thing? Why is this key? <laughs> this laptop is, is very, very, very difficult to use, man. <laughs> 